In November 2000, Alachua County citizens approved the Alachua County Forever Bond Referendum. The program was designed to acquire, improve, and manage environmentally sensitive lands in Alachua County. But the program has preserved more than just land. It has preserved the county's natural legacy for future generations to enjoy. This program preserves our county's rich heritage of ecological and cultural resources. The Bar Hammock, led with Prairie, is an excellent example of one of our county's very special places. Oh, Florida, God made you. Had a big smile on his face. Right in the oh, point here. Oh, is this beautiful? This is beautiful in here. Yeah, this is a, the real nice wetland. Huh? Yeah. It's even as dry as it is. This is yeah, still, nice still wet. Oh man, it's beautiful in here. Sort of really primordial feeling. Mm -hmm. it, it is. Jeff Rubin moved to an Alachua County farm near Micanopy 44 years ago. At the time, he was a 22-year-old medical student. Today, he is a retired physician. When I uh, came here, my closest neighbor was about a quarter of a mile. They were a couple named Red and Eunice Brown, and I remember uh, going to visit them for the first time, and uh, one of the first things they asked me was, uh, uh, have you seen the hammock? And I didn't know what... I'm not sure I knew what a hammock was, but they invited me that weekend. I went over and uh, we went fishing in a spot. It may have been right here or, or close by. It didn't take long for Reuben to feel close to the land. When I first came, Red took me and we drove through woodland just like this with, with wetlands. And, uh, and then when it was just, the sun was coming up, it, you know, and we got to Ledwith and we walked through and it just something similar to this, mm -hmm. to where he kept his little John boat. And uh, it was such a dramatic, exciting, thrilling experience, you know, and the sounds and the smells. And uh, it, it looked like Payne's Prairie without roads going through and the sound, there were no noises, no noises. you know. At the time, the hammock and Ledwith Lake were wilderness, largely untouched by human hands. It was just beautiful and pristine, and I fell in love with it. And for decades afterward, almost every weekend, I was out here exploring the hammock, <clears throat> uh, doing some fishing, and uh, on occasion, we, Red and I would, uh, would hunt ducks. Frequently, I would come out on my own on weekends. I'd bring some books, and I would walk along this very uh, edge of the prairie. I remember <clears throat> the mist, and I remember the smells, and I remember the sounds, and it, it was just, just a wonderful, uh, wonderful experience. But eventually that would change as the land changed hands and timber and pulpwood interests began to harvest the dense pine and hardwoods of the forest. Reuben was practicing medicine in Gainesville by then. His friend, Red Brown, worked in the pulpwood business. Even so, Brown hated to see what was happening to the hammock. But this was a very special place to him. I remember him telling me many times how much it hurt him to see them pull the huge trees out of this place uh, where he had grown up. He was, he, uh, as a little boy, he hunted and fished uh, uh, this area. I think his family lived here for several generations. The two went to the hammock less and less. Some 15 years ago, Red Brown passed away, and Reuben stopped going altogether. I uh, was reluctant uh, in the last couple of decades to come back. I wanted to remember it as it was. And I remember uh, seeing the, the huge trucks with the, not only the large pines, but also huge hardwoods uh, constantly coming out of, uh, down that lane, coming out of the hammock. And uh, uh, we all of us uh, uh, mourned that. But the hammock was not lost. Seven years ago, Alachua County voters approved funding of the Alachua County Forever Land Preservation Program, and the Bar Hammock was a piece of land program managers were looking at anxiously. Well, Bar Hammock, we identified early on when it was nominated to us as one of the significant properties that we could acquire. Um, its size, its location, it's over 2,000 acres. It's located between two of the largest prairies in the county, uh, Levy Lake and Ledwith Prairie. It was the land bridge, and there's a lot of historic and cultural significance about it being a land bridge between those two wet prairies. It's an uh, area near Micanopy, Bartram's Travels, the Levy Plantation, all in this one piece of property. There's potential to uh, highlight really all of that cultural and ecological significance in one property. The Bar Hammock Ledwith Prairie will be preserved as a nature park. 
Jeff Rubin hasn't seen the hammock in 15 years. This was a wonderful day to come back uh, to the hammock. It's, uh, it's uh, cool and it's just beautiful here today. Uh, Red died about 15 years ago, but if he and some of the other people uh, who had lived here for generations, uh, they would be absolutely thrilled. God made you, had a big smile on his face. I'm Alan Yetter for County Update. On May